In this quick video tutorial, I'll show you how to pre-fill a Word document uh, with data from Excel. This is particularly useful, uh, well, for many reasons. I'll be using it for creating um, kids report cards. Um, so this is example data, but generally speaking, we have numerous specialists. So English, math, social studies, arts, PE, chess, etc and every teacher would enter their own comments for each child which would then need to uh, go into one nice looking document in PDF form to ready to be printed or sent to parents um, and this is how I will do it first of all I'm going to go to mailings and select recipients use existing list I'm gonna find the Excel sheet, Excel data so that data is on my desktop. Okay, and there is only one sheet in that Excel sheet, Excel document. It's called Report Card Comments. Uh, notice it does have all the column labels, which is important. So yes, that is a sheet I want. Okay, and now I'm ready to insert the fields. So right here, I'd like a first name and a last name. Uh, in this row I would like some English comments okay and here I'd like some math comments and the social studies so, um, so what the program will do is it will take the row it will pull first name last name English math and social studies for in each um, for each kid in a separate sheet you can click preview results to see if you've done it right. John Smith, John's English comments, John's math, John's social studies. Yeah, that is exactly what should be pulled. You can click on the arrows to check each entry. Okay, looks good to me. If you'd like to add any more individual or personalized text at this point, you can. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and edit individual documents. I'm going to go page one by one. Okay, so this has now created me a second file. All it is is John Smith. Again, edit anything if you need to, but I think it looks good, so I'm going to go ahead and print it to PDF, uh, ready to be sent to parents. Here we go, print, I'll go John Smith, I'm going to save it on my desktop to check it later. Okay. Um, I'm going to go to Jane Doe, and again I'm going to finish and merge. I'm just going to go page 2, because that is where Jane Doe is. And again it has created a different document for that. Go ahead and print. If you'd like it in PDF, uh, looks good. Here's Jane Doe. Okay, close this file. I don't need it. So if you'd rather, you could print it all, all four files in one. But I just like to do it one by one. Okay, let's check what we've got. John Smith. Here's my PDF file. I didn't have to do any copy pasting, especially useful if you have a, a lot of comments and a lot of data to transfer from Excel to Word. Here's my Jane Doe. Voila. That is how you do it. Hope it helps.